Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Lightspeed Retail and QuickBooks Online to Lightspeed Accounting. The first thing you'll need to do is sign up for a free trial of Lightspeed Accounting. This free trial will eventually become your permanent account, and it will do so automatically, so you should only need to sign up once. Once you've filled in your information and click the Sign Up button, you'll be taken to this screen, where you'll be asked to select your point-of-sale software. Select Lightspeed Retail from the list, and you'll be asked to enter your Lightspeed Retail credentials. Once you've signed in your Lightspeed Retail credentials, you'll be asked to authorize the access rights for Lightspeed Accounting. Click the Authorize button, and you're all set. With that, the connection has been established between your Lightspeed Retail account and Lightspeed Accounting. And Lightspeed Accounting will now be able to pull the relevant sales information from your retail account. Of course, we want that information to go somewhere, specifically in this case, QuickBooks Online. So we'll need to establish a connection between Lightspeed Accounting and QuickBooks Online as well. To do so, click on Settings and then Accounting. Select the shop you want to connect. Here we'll be asked to select the appropriate accounting software that we want to link to. In our example, it's going to be QuickBooks Online, so I will select QuickBooks Online. As with our linking to Lightspeed Retail earlier, we will now be asked to enter in our QuickBooks Online credentials and authorize the connection. Once you've signed in, this is where you would authorize the connection by clicking Authorize in the bottom right. And you can see it's now refreshing accounting data. That means it's pulling information from your QuickBooks Online account in order to populate the available options in Lightspeed Accounting. Now that we've established the link between Lightspeed Retail, Lightspeed Accounting, and QuickBooks Online, we still, of course, need to tell Lightspeed Accounting where in QuickBooks to send the information, and that's where our mapping comes into play. The first thing you want to do is visit your general settings and uh, configure these according to your desires. Uh, the only one I'm going to cover in this video is the sales posting method because I feel it is the most important. Uh, if you set yourself up for journal entry, then the information will come over into QuickBooks Online as journal entries. You'll be mapping your Lightspeed information uh, to general ledger accounts in QuickBooks. And to see the information, you'll want to run your profit and loss report. If you select summary sales receipt, however, then your sales categories, your item categories for your inventory in Lightspeed Retail will be mapped to corresponding QuickBooks items. Now, whenever a sale is generated in Lightspeed, a corresponding sale will be generated in QuickBooks. So you will have actual sales figures in QuickBooks. I'm going to stick to journal entry for now, for the purposes of this demonstration. And the next thing you'll want to do is just run down this list, going through sales and all of the other sections, in order to map your Lightspeed categories with your QuickBooks accounts, or if you selected summary sales receipt, with your uh, QuickBooks items. It's as simple as, as clicking on the drop-down menu and selecting the appropriate account from your charter of accounts. I'm going to put everything all at once by selecting all sales into undeposited funds. Uh, this is not a recommendation for your business. It's simply how I'm handling my accounting. Uh, we in Lightspeed Support can show you how to do the mappings, but we do not provide accounting advice. For that, you would need to consult with a proper accountant. With sales done, I'll simply go down the list and continue to map everything from discounts, other charges, payments, and so on. Once all of the mappings are complete, you can click on Preview to see how it's going to look, and then Activate to finally set everything in motion. Once you've clicked Activate, then every night, Lightspeed Accounting will automatically pull that day's sales from Lightspeed Retail and send it to QuickBooks Online according to the mappings we've made. That's how you set up Lightspeed Accounting with Lightspeed Retail and QuickBooks Online. Run into any trouble along the way, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. We'll be more than happy to help you. And of course, there's lots more information on all of this 
uh, available on our help center.